Good day and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be packing because it is, it is finally time for me to go away on vacation two times in a row. I'm going to Columbia for a week with my father, which I'm so excited about me and my dad are like best friends. And we've talked about going on a vacation for years and we've never actually done it. So now is the time. What you may not know about traveling to Columbia from Vancouver, BC, and what I didn't know before my dad booked the trip is that you have to take three flights there and three flights home. It's gonna take me 20 hours to travel. 20, 20, two zero. So really not happy about that. Also, because of having to have connections, like short connections, it's like an hour and a half between my flights, I am not checking a bag. So I have my big travel backpack and I have just like a rolly carry-on. So I'm gonna be, I've already like preemptively packed for both. I took all of my summer stuff out of my closet, everything, and separated it into four piles. My Colombia pile, my Mexico pile, my donation pile, which is already gone, and then my pack away for the winter pile. So this is only my like winter fall clothes. So today we are going to be going through all of my already packed stuff and finishing up packing for make sure I have everything I need for Columbia and completely pack and then go through all of my bathing suits and see which ones I'm going to bring to Colombia for my dad trip, which ones I'm going to bring to Mexico for my Ian trip, which ones I might get rid of, and which ones I'm not going to bring at all. So welcome, grab your beverage of choice. Today I have dos. I have a pumpkin spice latte and I have an agua. Let's go. Okay, first one, high-waisted. So we got coverage. I like this. Um, I have a little tiny fat poking out here, but that's fine because I think this is definitely a Cartagena bathing suit or a not bring this at all. One or the other. I can't decide. Depends on, I have like probably literally 20 bathing suits here. So this is gonna go into my maybe pile, but probably Cartagena which is Colombia, if you didn't know that. I didn't know how to pronounce that, but now I do. Definitely in Mexico with Ian. Cute, 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 cute. Let's move along. This one's such an old standby. I'm definitely bringing it to Cartagena, and I might actually bring it to Mexico. Love it, amazing. The triangle bikini is my fave. I originally bought this one in Vegas, but I only went to the pool once in Vegas, so I never got an opportunity to wear it. This is definitely a Mexico Ian bathing suit. Cute, cute, cute. Ian, Mexico. I love this bathing suit. It's brand new, and I'm going to bring it to both. It's like kind of modest. I like it. I don't actually really like this bathing suit. I've had it for a while and it's just like not super flattering, but I think it's perfect for a trip with my father. So just like fully covered, full bum, comfy, cozy. It'll be perfect for swimming. This bathing suit has such a weird cut. Like the, the, Bathing suits that I've worn that have weird cuts are all from Cider. I've been completely unimpressed with everything Cider has ever sent me, so I will never be ordering from it again, which sucks because stuff looks really cute, but then it gets here and it just, all of it fits weird. So I've never worn this bathing suit. I might bring it to Cartagena. I might just not. Do you see how weird it fits? Like, look at this. It's just so weird. Like, it looks odd looks odd. I might just get rid of it. This is one of my favorite oldest bathing suits of all time. Mexico it is. You can see this a bunch but it'll be cozy. New bathing suit. Ian loves it. I will probably just bring this to Mexico. This one is so scandalous and it's super tight for me. I'm gonna bring it to Mexico and hopefully I'm not this fat but I probably will be so 
Mexico it is. Not bringing this to my fajas. All right, let's see. Comfy, cozy. I think I'm going to bring this to both Cartagena and Mexico. This one's super original and cute. I'm going to try to... Hopefully that's better. Love it. Adorable. Obviously just bringing it to Mexico, not bringing it to Cartagena. This is super cute and it comes with a top. Very cute, easy peasy triangle with like a dress uh, romper over top. I think I'm gonna bring this to Cartagena because it's super cute. Yeah, I love this. How adorable is that? I absolutely love it. So cute. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go over a couple things really quickly so I don't have to try them all on. These are all oldies. So this one is missing a string, so that's staying here. I know I can find the string somewhere, so I'm not going to throw it out. This is a classic. You guys have probably, if you follow me, you've seen this one. So a three-piece going to Mexico with that. This is one of my favorite, favorite bathing suits of all time. This is going both places. This is also another classic three-piece. This is just going to Mexico. This is a super cute purple like ruche number just going to Mexico this is a high-waisted three-piece bathing suit going to Mexico and then what else do I have three-piece these are like all from Shein going to Mexico and then I have two others that I'm going to try on and then that's it bandeau and then it has a cover and the cover, I think, is like a long dress with sleeves. So cute. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for Mexico for this. New, love it, adorable. This one's super cute. And I can envision with this one, it has like a top. This is exactly what I would wear if me and Ian go like sea doing or do like water sports or go on um, like a excursion because it comes with right so cute I have to like dig around with the straps and stuff like that I'm just gonna bring this to Mexico and that's it for my bathing suits which I literally told you I probably have 25 so now we're gonna move on to other things finally okay so we've moved on from bathing suits and here we are with all of our mismatch of shit I've already packed. Okay, so I have a brand new book, Shari Lampina. I like all her stuff. It's just like light, easy thrillers. It's funny to call it thriller light and easy, but this is it. So this is fresh, brand new, ready to rock. I have my travel backpack. So I'm just gonna put everything in here once I have it. And then I also have, ugh, this is all my clothes. We're gonna go through that after. I tend to when I pack, I like pre, I do it in stages. So a couple weeks before I will go through all my clothes and like make a first chunk of clothes and then put that in a suitcase and leave it for a bit. And then I'll make like a first chunk of like makeup and skincare and stuff with my like travel bags. And then second chunk, usually like a week before I will sort through everything and narrow it down. And then I'll do like a final the final countdown like the day before okay so we have our carry-on bag our backpack and then let's just start going through all of this so this is my gym bag that i take with me when i do like double shifts and i go to the gym in between so i'm just going to look in here and see what i can take from there like this deodorant so because i don't think i've ever 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 traveled without checking a bag ever i don't think so so it's going to be really weird for me, especially I'm like, there are certain things that I've always just taken like a full size one, like toothpaste or deodorant or sunscreen, but I literally could not find one sunscreen that wasn't big. Like I couldn't find it and I'm going to need a big one because I want to cover my whole body. So I think I'm just going to have to buy it there. So we have deodorant which we're going to bring this is resetting refreshing mist with spf 40 i love this this is super goop 
they do not sell this specific super product in Canada. I got this from Ulta. I have goggles for tanning. I could not find these the other day, so I literally bought another pair at the gym, and then I immediately found them, which is super annoying. Tissues, which I'll take. I have a contacts case, which I'm going to get a fresh one, so I'm going to leave this one here. This is for shower gel, so I'm going to hold on to that. This is for my hair. I'm going to leave that in. This is um, Renew contact solution, so I'm going to bring that. I have a lock in here. I'm not going to bring that. All right, so I'm going to put this aside for now, moving on to the next bag. First, I have my headphones, which I'll probably use. Like, I leave in... I leave it in like four days. So I will definitely use my headphones before then, but I'm gonna keep it with all my travel stuff for now. I have my tablet. This is a Galaxy tab, my Samsung Galaxy tab. I adore it. I have already started downloading stuff on it. So I'm going to start packing this. I'm gonna pack it with my laptop case. I'm gonna bring my laptop. I'm assuming my dad has to work sometimes. So I'm gonna use that opportunity to write. So I'm going to bring my laptop, which is just over there with a packing list on it. I will bring that. This is going to go in my backpack. So here for now, this is just like a laundry bag. This is empty. So this is like a waterproof bag that I can use to like put my wet bathing suit or something, which reminds me I should bring a bigger like beach bag. So I know exactly what I'm going to bring. Stay here. All right. I'm going to bring this bag because it folds up like really awesome i'm gonna leave this pin because this is from when we went to dice tower <laughs> we're gonna go back this year i like spur of the moment bought the tickets when they were like dice tower sent me an email saying here's our block of hotels here's the tickets get your get your early bird thing and i was just like let's do it because we had such a good time when we went to vegas last time okay so i'm gonna bring this which will be beach bag and like touristing around that's gonna go right here. Do you know what? I'm gonna change because when I lean over, there's so much boobage going on, and this is a dress, and I wanna be more comfy cozy. I was like, what do I wanna wear? I wanna wear pajamas. So here we are. They're so adorable. It says Bon Nuit right here, and I have matching pants, and I got them from Value Village. Okay, so moving right along, we have, I think this size bag is the type I'm gonna. The only amount of liquid stuff that they will allow me on the plane. Because last time I went to, oh, okay. I must have traveled. Like, just to check. No. Where did I go? I think I went to Vegas. And they almost didn't let me take, I had to, like, take one of my other bags of liquids and disperse it into two amounts of things and then give one to Ian because I had too much stuff. Ridiculous. Okay, so this is all the stuff that we're gonna have. I have, oh, I bought like a little tiny native deodorant. So I have two deodorants now, but that's fine because whichever, I'll probably use this one first because this one smells better. So, and this is old. So I'll probably use this one first. So I'll bring them both and then hopefully I can just toss this in Colombia. I have two beauty blenders. One's a paw paw and one's a regular one. I'm only gonna use I'm only going to bring one, the regular one. Both of these are from Amazon, I'll link them below. The Beaky ones are my favorite. I think they work better, they're slightly like harder. And then this is called Paw Paw, also from Amazon. And it's like really squishy, but I like these ones better for some reason. So I'm gonna leave this here. I have a Dove Advanced Care. This is also deodorant. Well, technically it's a dry spray. I have three at this point in time. I have a to-go, to-go, mini size travel toothpaste. I bought two of them. I'll probably only need one, so I'm only gonna bring one and I'll leave this here. And then I have some shaving cream. I'm gonna get waxed before I go, but this is for when we're there because I'll probably need it anyways. This is a cat toy. I have another Opti Free Hydro Glide, so I'll use this one first and I'll definitely use this up and then I'll have a backup. I have mouthwash. I have little flossers, which is dry stuff. So I'm gonna make the like wet liquid stuff because that's all I get for my court. And then I'm gonna put stuff that I can just put 
in like my dry stuff. So what do I really truly need? Oh, I'm gonna put everything over here first. So I have contact solution. I have a beauty blender cleaner, which I need. I have a Tide to go stick. <laughs> I have a band aid in this bag. I have another contact solution, so I'm gonna leave this one here. And then these are to take makeup off. And then I have empty containers with which to put things that I'll need. So I'm gonna use this Lush container that this that's in there is the rest of my like solid beauty blender cleaner. So I'm just gonna put that in there and then I'm good. This container from Lush, it held like solid shampoo, which I hated, but it works perfect for my beauty blender cleaner. I have floss and then I have all these little containers which I are not filled yet so I'm going to leave that there. This is my bag I take daily. Everywhere I go I usually take one of this. Like I change purses daily every day like I don't have one purse that I use all the time. I have like my wallet and this and I'll like take them out of whatever purse I have and then I'll put them into the new purse I have. If it's too small for that day I'll just take little stuff out of here that I need. So I have vitamins, so that's definitely gonna go with me and I'm gonna like top this up with my daily vitamins. I have hand sanitizer, which I'm bringing. I have dry shampoo, which I'm bringing. I have lotion, which I'm bringing. I have a powder foundation, which I'm bringing. I have wired headphones, which I'm not gonna bring. I have lip gloss, which I, I just ordered a fresh one from Sephora and I just got an email that my Sephora order arrived today. So, um, I have a new one of these, so I'm gonna bring that. I have blotting sheets, I have more hand sanitizer, I have um, eye drops, which I'm going to bring. Yeah, I'll bring that. And then I have Tic Tacs, which, sure, I'll bring that. Why not? And then I have some travel perfumes. So I have a brand new thing of to go. So I'm gonna leave that in here and I'm gonna take the old one. And then I'm gonna go through my travel perfumes later, but I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna I leave these eye drops here and then I'm gonna leave this bag here at home. Okay, next, this is a shoe bag. This looks like makeup. So I'm just gonna move all my empty containers that I might fill with like eye cream or whatever over here. In this okay I have another beaky but I already have one over here so I'm gonna leave that here I have a dove soap which I'm gonna bring I have so we're getting into my makeup so let's get my other bag so we can go in order of how we apply on the face so primer which primer did I bring where are you Primer. Doesn't look like I have a primer yet. Perfect. So this is the Milk um, Eclipse Mattifying Primer. It's funny, I wasn't overly impressed by this. And then I watched Tati's, like, what was her video? Like, the best thing from each brand at Sephora, which if I can find it, I'll link it below. And this was her favorite thing from Milk Makeup. And I was like, really? And I had it. And so I'm going to reuse it. I'm only gonna bring one primer, which gives me anxiety. Like I want to bring two or three of every makeup thing, but I literally just don't have enough room. So this is my one primer I'm bringing. It's perfect because it's like travel sized. Foundation, so I bought a brand new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless for normal to oil. I bought it in a slightly darker color. I've been tanning, so let's see how the color is. Yeah, it's still a little dark. Let me look in the actual mirror. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Perfect. I have a filter on this though, just to be totally, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Transparent with you. I don't look like this. this. My skin is not this nice. This is definitely a filter. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this foundation. Again, it makes me nervous to just bring one foundation. And we have concealer. I'm gonna bring the Kosas concealer because it's my darkest concealer and we're going into winter here so it'll allow me to use it up, which is great. And then I have powder, which I brought two powders, one for under the eye, which is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus. And then one is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which is actually pretty dark. So that's great because this, my powders take up like the Huda, 
Huda Beauty one which is my favorite is like so large so that's great and then for like blush and bronzer and highlight I am so anxious about only bringing this like what two different shades of blushes two different shades of bronzers and only one highlighter that I have for a week that seems madness to me but that's what we're doing because it takes up a little bit of space lip products I have the what is this Smashbox this was uh it's like a kind of like a if you know Dolly from Buxom this is that color it's like a purpley dusty rose kind of and then I have a very nude nude and then I have Burt's Bees Lip Chap which we're gonna apply right now and then I have one lip gloss again I have like what four lip products that seems so crazy to me and all of these are like kind of old almost being done so if you watch my last packing video I said that I like to bring products that there's only a little bit left of so I can use it up like if I'm forced to use it for a week or two weeks I'm gonna use it up which is great because then I can out with the old in with the new and this is how I get my empties videos and then I have uh, the Lottie Sweet Lips, which I'm actually not going to bring because I just ordered the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Okay, I think that's all for makeup. I have like a little puff, like a powder puff thing. It makes me... I have to pack my brushes. I should make a list. I have to pack my makeup brushes, which I should grab right now. But I do have to clean them. And I'm using my phone to record so I can't make a note in my phone. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a pen and a piece of paper. Okay, so I have one eye palette, eyeshadow palette also. So this is the Revolution, Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit. And it's good. It's full of a bunch of different stuff. Lots of purples, dusty roses, browns. There's a couple lights, so I can make do. I can make lots of looks out of that, so that's great. I have a shampoo. Do I have more than one shampoo? I don't think so. I think this is my only shampoo. I have a daily facial facial moisturizer that I bought specifically for the trip. Uh, Cetaphil SPF 50, which is great. I have a retinol. I have an eye cream. I have conditioner. I have a uh, oil perfume. This is the Virgin Island Water. This is by um, Oil Perfumery, which I've ordered from. And this is their impression of Creed. And I actually really like oil perfumery. I think it's really good bang for your buck. Now this smells kind of pine, citrusy kind of vibe. Okay, and then I have a brightening toner. I have a niacinamide. I have my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is actually, I don't think this is Clinique that's actually in here. I think I filled it with the elf one which I actually really like and then I have another toothpaste this one tastes bad I don't like the taste of this this is like a gum detoxify toothpaste so I'm gonna bring both of them and I'm gonna use them intermingled but I'd like to get rid of this because it doesn't taste good this is usually in my like work bag and then I have another SPF this is the trader inside this like carrying case is the Trader Joe's um SPF which I really didn't like so I'm this is the last of it I'm trying to get rid of it okay so is that all my liquids let's see what's in here I have oh here perfect I have an eye mask I have a toothbrush I have this is for toner I have more band-aids I have like a Tide one use laundry detergent which I probably won't use I have goggles for the pool because I'll definitely swim, love to swim. I have a toothbrush case. So I have a brand new toothbrush that I'm going to put in my case after I open it. I have contacts. I'll, I have three pairs of each, which should be perfect. And then I'll bring some on the plane. I have a Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which I want to get rid of. I have a bronzer brush. I have a blush brush. I need a powder brush, I think. This will do and then I have eyeshadow brush smudger eyeshadow brush a pencil case a pencil sharpener a nude eyeliner for like underneath my waterline 
eyebrows. This is just the e.l.f. Wow Brow, one of my favorite products ever and just super petite. I have one lip liner, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. I have, ooh, yes, I have one more lip product that makes me feel better. I have, this is a dupe of the Tarte Maracuja like lip plumper, which I love, especially the color Cherry Blossom. This is a dupe for it by Shein's brand She Glam, and I really like it. It's really great, cute packaging too. And then I have a Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. Ooh, I have two more lip liners, that makes me happy. I have the Buxom Dolly one, amazing, which will go with that Smashbox lipstick I have. And then I have an Anastasia pen, so what is it called? Cool Brown, which I love, lip liner. Amazing, very excited about all of this. I have my new bag to, with which to carry stuff in. Inside here I have a couple of toning, like skincare brightening things. So let's make sure, so that's all my stuff. I'm gonna press pause because I'm gonna make sure I have everything I need and then we'll be back. Okay, so all of that stuff I just talked about, I put into three bags. So there's this Shein bag, and I'm gonna put my goggles in there, my eye mask, a wrist brace because I have carpal tunnel, and then I have a couple extra bags over there that I'm not using. I'm gonna have my like body pouch for money and stuff. Reminder, I need to go get pesos, so I'm gonna put that in here. And then I have my glasses, but I'll probably be wearing my glasses on, well, I'll be wearing them for the next week, but I will be using these a lot. So I'm going to put it right in the front pouch of my backpack. I have, this is all my liquids. This is probably too much. They probably won't let me carry that much. I don't know what I'm going to do, but for now, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to double bag it. <laughs> Good boy, not, but... Perfect. Okay, so those are all my liquids. I don't know what I'm gonna do if they tell me that I can. I wonder if I'll maybe I'll take like as many solids as I can, like my deodorant out of there, like a lip gloss and stuff, maybe my concealer, and try to put it in another like this or something, just in case. Okay, so underneath my cat over here, I have my e-reader, which I'm going to need my cord. So I'm going to pack all of my cords last. So I need my e-reader cord, my phone charger, my computer charger, and then my phone charger will also charge my headphones and I don't think I need anything else charging wise so I'm gonna leave this over here okay so here's my everyday wallet and then my travel wallet was just here I bet it's is it on my cat it is here's my travel wallet it has this cute little pen that um I think Katie bought me and then I have my passport right here so I'm going to transfer all the stuff I need from my regular wallet okay I have cash I have my driver's license, my credit card, my debit card. What else do I need? I'm gonna bring another form of ID just in case. I don't think I need any of these cards. So I'm gonna leave this here to stay and I'm gonna put these in here. Credit card goes in this little, it's funny because the slots have little names where it is. So, perfection and then I'm gonna put all my cash in here where can the cash go cash goes here what's this oh this is a photocopy of my passport which is perfect because I left it in here from last trip so I'm gonna put this in here what's the cash give it a cash do you know where that's from it's from Fifth Element, one of my favorite movies of all time, which we actually have to download for, Ian bought a freaking projector for Mexico. So excited, it's such a smart buy. Like he said that this type of projector is worth like $6,000 a couple years ago. Okay, so this is my travel wallet. And he, it was like 80 bucks. So we can watch movies in Mexico. We're gonna be there for two weeks. Like. 
I used to just bring my laptop or my tablet, but it's such a tiny screen for us to like watch stuff on. So Ian bought a freaking projector. So we can project on the wall in Mexico. He's gonna download a lot of movies. Super excited about that. I think it's a fabulous idea. So I have these bags left. I don't really need them. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff with my Mexico like giant suitcase that I already have half packed for Mexico, so that'll go with it. These are all my bathing suits that I'm bringing to Colombia. So many, ridiculous. I need to fill up my pill bottle. And what's next? Let's check. Okay, so checklist. Do I have any vax requirements? No, thank God, stupid. So I don't need that. Do I have airport? to hotel ride no i'm just gonna get a uber once i'm there i'm gonna download uber on my phone and do that because i've heard in colombia that the taxi system is not to be trusted so download music podcasts and movies i did on my tablet and i will do a couple more print paperwork and photocopies of passport and ID. So I already have my passport photocopy. I brought out my printer though so I could print all my tickets. So I have physical copies of those just in case like I can't get onto my Air Canada like app on my phone at the airport for some stupid reason in like Bogota or wherever. And then it's just clothes. So I'm gonna go get some underwear and bras. I already have my bathing suits. I already have the rest of my clothes right here. I'm gonna go through that sleepwear bottoms like a pair of jeans or lulus or shorts or skirts it's gonna be really hot i believe i'm gonna double check the weather and i wish i had to do it on my phone well i could do it here but and a jacket make sure i have like at least one sweater for like the flight or anywhere that's going to have ac on it shoes which i still need to pack i need to do that accessories i still need to pack sunglasses purses watch whatever i got all my skincare i have all my makeup i have shampoo i have conditioner i have body lotion i don't have tweezers i don't need them i will need to buy sunscreen when i'm there because like i said i can't pack it i have perfume nail clippers i don't need i'll bring an emery board though because i'm actually getting my nails done i made an appointment for wednesday two days before i leave to get a pedicure and shellac put on my nails i think i'm gonna try dip powder because she said that's like tougher and this shellac is already fucking busted so um toothbrush toothpaste have that floss have it razor i'm not gonna bring that i'm only gone for a week and i'm getting waxed on wednesday deodorant got it nail file wrote it down hairbrush i need a hairbrush okay all right i'm gonna start packing all this stuff and i'll be back guys okay i think this is everything so now we're gonna try to pack it all into my carry-on and my backpack. I have two cats here, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult. Okay, so it's weirdly like the a high of 30 plus rainy, so I'm gonna bring my umbrella. I have a pair of, these take up too much room. I wonder if I can find smaller ones. My brown ones are probably smaller. Maybe I'll just bring one pair. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to bring one pair of sandals, which is so tough for me to do, but that's what we're doing. And then I have all of my liquids, which I'm going to keep in my backpack. I have, I packed gum, I packed all my pills. I'm going to put this in my suitcase. I have my journal, which I'm going to put in my backpack. I packed hair stuff earplugs, a hairbrush, hair mask, like clips and ties. I actually brought a lighter also and candles just because it's going to be nice to have that when I'm there. So I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to put my book and my e-reader in my backpack. I have three pairs of sunglasses, which I'm also going to put in here. I have one purse that I can wear like going out while I'm there. I have my travel wallet, which I'm going to put in the back of my backpack, like right here. So that's money, cards, it's gonna be my ticket, etc., etc. I have my glasses. I'm also gonna put those in close. Probably just right out here. This is close. 
um, proximity. I probably won't need this, uh, but I'll wear it while I'm there, like a bum bag. So that's gonna go in my suitcase. I have one pair of one pair of heels. They're white, so that's also gonna go in my suitcase. I have all of my jewelry. So I got this jewelry case last year, and I'll I packed just super cheap stuff. I'm wearing all gold because. I don't want to get gold and silver, so I'm just wearing all the gold. And then I will bring that home and like add to it to go to Mexico. So that's gonna go in here. I have all of that stuff you saw me pack before with the makeup. So that's gonna go in here. My laptop and tablet are gonna go in my backpack. This is one of my power cords. I'm gonna pack my power cords close to the end. The only thing I still need to pack are my makeup brushes because I haven't cleaned them yet, and my power cords. I'm gonna bring the most important stuff first and then also my bag. So I'm just gonna roll everything and see how much I can stuff inside this bag. And then I'm gonna put the rest in my backpack. And while I do that, watch Gilmore Girls because it's fall. Oh, also my voice is like this because I just, uh, MC to wedding the other day and was screaming on the dance floor. So here we go. We're gonna fast through this This is gonna go in my backpack in what part? The back part. Let's see if this fits. Oh yeah, it fits. That's cool. Great. Okay, so that's in there all nice and good. And then probably in the same spot in the bottom, I'm going to put my diary, semi journal, my fiction book, and then my Kobo. And that's Ooh. everything in the back. Barely do up. And then I have this front spot, which has my glasses. I'm gonna put my headphones here and then in this, I have two other pockets. So I have this pocket and I have this pocket. I'm gonna leave this middle pocket for clothes. And in the front pocket, it's actually waterproof in case you wanna put like a bathing suit in there. I'm gonna put the all of my liquids in that pocket. And then I have a water bottle, like an empty water bottle I'm gonna bring. And I'm going to put the lid in this front part because this needs to air out completely or else it'll be gross. I'm gonna put a water bottle in there because I'll just be able to not worry about it once I get to the airport. I can bring it through security and then on the other side I can fill it up. And then I have all my chargers. I have a fully powered power bank charger. I have like a high speed wall charger that has four different prongs, the USB and USC. I have my laptop. I have, this charges my phone, my headphones, this is my Kobo charger, and then this is a charger from my power bank to my phone. So I have all the chargers I need. I have my hat, and then the only thing I need are my makeup brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the front spot. So full. I wonder if this will even fit. I think it's like just gonna fit. Like I'm not gonna be able to take literally anything else other than my makeup brushes. Okay, I don't think I should put my clothes in here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna pan out the best. So I'm gonna switch this front waterproof pocket. Guys, I am done packing. For Colombia, I have my uh, 
carry-on bag. I have this backpack. Holy crap, guys. I'm going to be lugging this. This is going to be so heavy and uncomfortable. Oh. Sucks. Ah. It is what it is. I wore it like this. I took this to Europe. I'm pretty sure. Did I take this to Europe? I, think I took it to Europe. Yeah. And that's it. I just need to clean and pack my makeup brushes and I'm done. Thanks for joining me. I may or may not film another one for Mexico. I probably will, but I have very little time between coming home from Colombia and going to Mexico. Who knows if I'll actually have the time. So thank you very much for joining me. Be well. Much love. Till next time. Bye.